Altered Element is one of the most important currencies in Season of Arrivals. It's used to focus Umbral Engrams so you can easily get god rolls of weapons like Falling Guillotine, Gnawing Hunger, Cold Denial, the Ikelos SMG, and many, many more. We used to be able to farm it quickly through Nightmare Hunts, but Bungie decided that was too easy and nerfed the drop rates. They may have nerfed it, but they have added more sources. So today, we'll go over all the new best sources to get Altered Element quickly in Season of Arrivals. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marshix, and if you find this video helpful, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. It's a free way to help me out, and you can always change your mind later. And while you're at it, hit the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's jump into the guide. So in my last video on Altered Element, I mentioned how bounties from the Recaster can give you 25 Altered Element per bounty. These can be completed on each character daily, and they are all very easy and can usually be done passively. So if you just pick these up and go along with your business, there's a good chance you complete them in the background. The next source of Altered Element is the Season 11 Triumphs. A lot of these Triumphs will give you 50 Altered Element and aren't very hard either, as long as you play the seasonal content. You most likely have the majority of these completed if you've been playing all season, so make sure you collect the loot from all of them. Activities like Strikes, Crucible, Nightmare Hunts, and Gambit still have a chance to drop Altered Element after completing them. However, like I said in the intro, Bungie nerfed them, so don't start running hours of Nightmare Hunts expecting to be rich. I believe the drop rates of Strikes, Crucible, and any other activities stayed the same, but those take much longer than Nightmare Hunts, so you're still going to have to invest some time into those activities to get a big payout. The final source I'm going to go over is a newer source that some people probably either never noticed or completely forgot about. On each of the four planets with pyramid ships, the planetary vendors have two weekly bounties each that can be done on each character and rewards you with 150 altered element. These bounties are going to be a little longer to complete, but they give you much more altered element and XP. So 150 per bounty, two bounties per vendor, and four vendors means we get 1200 altered element per character each week just from these bounties, and at the same time, you can work on the recaster daily bounties too. Yes, it sucks that this turned into a bounty grind, but over 4,000 altered element a week from just bounties, not too bad. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and sharing the video, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my Destiny 2 content. I want to thank you all for watching this far into the video. I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time. Without you, Anna. We make a pretty good team, if I do say so myself.